Hello geniuses, in this video we will derive this Bose-Einstein distribution law. In the previous video we derived this thermodynamic probability for Bose-Einstein stat. Now using this we will derive this Bose-Einstein distribution law. Now similar to Maxwell-Boltzmann statistics we will take its logarithm, then we will apply the Stirling's approximation. After that we will take its derivative and put it equal to 0 to get the extremum and from that we will derive the Bose-Einstein distribution law. So let us take its logarithm. So log of this thing is in here this is multiplication so when we take logarithm it becomes addition so this changes to summation. Now in here log of this and as we know that log of m divided by n is log of m minus log of n. So this whole thing is in minus in here, log of this and log of this. So this is what we get after logarithm. Now we have this thing in here. Now what we will do is apply Stirling's approximation which is log of x factorial which is equal to x log of x minus x. So log of ni plus gi minus 1 factorial is ni plus gi minus 1 log of ni plus gi minus 1 minus ni plus gi minus 1. Log of ni factorial is ni log of ni minus ni but in here this is in here minus so that minus will be multiplied to get plus. Now log of gi minus 1 is gi minus 1 log of gi minus 1 plus gi minus 1 because in here it is in minus so that minus will get multiplied in here and in here we have a minus. Now in here this ni and gi are really large numbers so we can ignore this minus 1 in here so since ni and gi are very large we can ignore these minus 1 so we'll ignore those minus 1 here in here it was gi minus 1 so we ignored that. Now look this is plus ni and this in here is minus ni. This is plus gi and this in here is minus gi. So these cancel with each other to give us this thing in here. Now what we will do is take its derivative. So we will take the derivative of this whole thing in here. And this comes out to be this. Look, in here as we know that gi is not a subject to variation. So derivative of this is 0. So this is first function. Derivative of this function in here. Derivative of gi is 0. So we get dni plus second function this gi plus ni derivative of this so derivative of log of x is 1 upon x so in here 1 upon gi plus ni and after that we will apply chain rule in here derivative of this thing derivative of gi is 0 plus derivative of ni is dni so we have this dni thing in here now in here we have minus so first function derivative of second function which is 1 upon ni dni applying chain rule in here too now second function and derivative of first function. In here we have minus so minus gets multiplied in here. And also gi is not a subject to variation so derivative of this whole thing is 0. So now in here look these two cancel each other and these two also cancel each other and this is plus dni and this is minus dni so these two also cancel each other. So we have this term and this term only. So we have this thing in here. Now we will take this dni outside and we tend to take this ni on the numerator. So we will do this like in here we take minus dni common. So we have log of ni minus log of gi plus ni. So we take log of a minus log of v which is log of a upon b. So inside we have log of ni upon gi plus 1. Outside we have a dni with a minus sign. So now in here this is not complete we have some other constraints also. So we will apply the method of Lagrange's multiplier. For now we won't go in much deep. We have two constraints that the total number of particles that is n1 plus n2 plus n3 and so on are constant and the total energy is also constant. That means this is equal to constant that means derivative of this is 0 and this is also constant so derivative of this is also 0. So we will multiply this by some alpha and multiply this by some beta and add this in here because adding 0 won't change this and this will help us take care of those different constraints also. So adding this thing in here gives us this. So we added alpha dni beta ei dni which is common outside in here. So we have this thing in here. 
Now this is equal to zero. After adding these constraints, it is equal to zero. So if this is zero, then this inside thing is also zero. Now we will just rearrange it. Like we will take that alpha plus beta ei on the other side, which is minus. Then we will take this log on the other side, which will become e raised to the power minus alpha plus beta ei. We have this thing in here. Now in here, let's flip this over. So this minus sign changes and this gi plus na comes in the numerator. Now in here, we have like gi divided by ni plus ni divided by ni which is 1. So this 1 goes in here which becomes minus 1. So we have this thing in here. We can write it like this. This ni goes in here and this whole term goes in here. So we have ni equal to gi divided by raised to our alpha plus beta i minus 1. And this is the Bose-Einstein distribution law. This is what we needed to find. Only this alpha and beta which are the Lagrangian multiplier are unknown. We will derive this after deriving the Fermi Dirac distribution law because these are same for all three statistics which is really cool for now let us see what form this function takes when we put in alpha and beta now as in the statistical mechanics in a nutshell video you have learned that this ni upon gi thing is known as occupancy this means that the number of particles in each box so this is just another way to represent this function in form of occupancy. Now this alpha and beta comes out to this like beta is 1 upon kBT where kB is the Boltzmann constant and in here alpha is minus mu upon kBT. In here this mu is the chemical potential. After putting these things in here we have this function like in here this is minus mu upon kBT and we have like EI upon kBT which is multiplied by beta in here. So this is also the Bose-Einstein distribution law in form of occupancy and after adding these alpha and beta in here. So that's it for this video. This is what we needed to derive. Now as I promised at the end of every video, I will share something fun to you as a reward. So in this video, I have a riddle for you. So answer this. When you need me, you throw me away. And when you are done, you bring me back. What is this thing? It is an anchor. The ships like throw them when they want to use the anchor and then they bring it back when they don't want to use the anchor. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.